decided for a change that uh, Jim's going to take the camera and make the videos and show me work on everything. And so this video is over. <laughs> Here I have to uh, loosen up these gas tank bolts <laughs> so I can spin the gas tank <laughs> so we can cut a hole in the top for a sending unit. Notice Jim is nowhere to be found while I'm doing all this hard work. That's okay. I'll just do it myself. Pain. Hey. Hey, you not to work that day? <laughs> well, just because your legs are sticking out under here. Yeah, got that <laughs> Wow, look at one tool. Oh, oh well, and he's got a light. Unbelievable. Let's just go around here and see if we can figure out what he's doing. Oh, look, he's just rubbing the gas tank. Here, grab it, see if you can turn it. Oh, oh need, hold on. I think he needs my help now. <laughs> Which way? Oh. All right, I'm going to have to put the camera down for this. I don't think these people want so shaky films. Oh, yeah, oh, that's perfect. Man, job well done, Dom. <laughs> So while Jim's over there probably playing with his phone, oh wait, no, he must be working. He's supposed to be, you know, doing all the camera work. So I'm going to take this hole saw, throw a hole in this tank, and fill it full of metal shavings that we can later try to get out of there. I don't have really much of a choice. And I don't know where Jim's at, but here you can see I don't know what that He's noise is. Whoa, what? Oh, anyway. <laughs> Jim and I right. bent this thing expertly with our precision equipment <laughs> to match the curvature at the top of the tank. And then we did all our measuring and uh, situating with figuring and numbers and math to figure out how to make this work. So this is done and ready to go. Pop that in the tank. All we have to do is figure out how to clean out the tank because now it's full of metal shavings. So once we get that figured out, it'll be pretty sweet. What? Yep. Anyway, uh, as you can see in here, there's a little bit of petrol <laughs> and a big bunch of crap. I need a vacuum. Do I got a vacuum that will fit down in there? Is it good to vacuum up gasoline with a wet and dry vac? That's a bad idea. <laughs> Tapper. Oh, as you can see, folks. <laughs> well, I'm I mean, the guy on, wasn't taking any field. video. Back on the... I mean, I'm over here slaving away, putting screws in my door screws. hinges. I got three. Three screws, I got two. Oh, man. This is unbelievable. Three. And I had to take them out and take these washers off. Because you told me you didn't like those big washers. I don't know. Are these supposed to have those? Because they don't really fit very well. And the screws fit a lot better without those washers. So that's perfect. The alternator I put on. I put the belt on and tightened her up, though. Doesn't that count for something? Yeah, you did. You sure did. <laughs> did a fine job, too. I really did. I wish you guys could have seen the tools. Oh, I used the right tool for the job. Right. Now I gotta come in here and get some screws for you. Where are those? I thought they were in here still. You need more than that. What do you get what? <laughs> I need more than what? I've had enough of this. Here they are. Here they are to save the day. I got five screws coming your way. I think you need some ultra gray. No, it's probably fine. I mean, the way we got that perfectly formed and shaped you can tell. I mean, that couldn't really be any better. Here, I better take a little feel. 
It's not too bad, really, is it? No. I mean, I guess. I wish we had that little here so we could make sure that it's perfect. Over there doing what you do best. Right. The <laughs> yeah, don't want that cord to go anywhere. Sure. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think it is. <laughs> right. Just a little distraction. Be done shortly. <laughs> Right. I might drive it once before we chop it. Really? That's about it. I mean, just around the block or something. <laughs> right, not really. Not Hopefully, that. nobody sees me. <laughs> That's what I told Brandy. He's like, We're not going to drive that thing. I'm like, fuck. Quit asking me when I'm going to drive it. I'm in no hurry to drive it. <laughs> I was like, I can't even stand looking at the thing in the garage. <laughs> As you can see, Jim finally finished his job on the fuel sender and hooked the wire up to it. Cleaned up all these wires back here. The tail light wiring. Blew some paint off this crappy panel right there. <laughs> Still need to put some different clamps on that. Need to get a different frame. <clears throat> um. I need a passenger window. I have the regulator and all new felts and stuff. No window in this door. Yeah, I screwed this back on and this back on anyway just to kind of put it back together. Uh, getting ready to paint these valve covers white in here. Getting ready to mount the radiator. Trying to move the grill shell back so it covers more of it. So we're doing some custom work, trying to move this bar down so we can cut this and notch it out more, more notchy. So it should be a good time for everybody involved. As you can see, it's no loss if this doesn't work. <coughs> because this thing is a piece of something. Something sweet. Installed. Yeah. Excellent work, sir. <laughs> Here you can see how Jim, aka the Metal Whisperer, <laughs> re <Jim. laughs> reformed these brackets mm -hmm. and made them uh, fit to hold the grill shell on so we don't have to build some crazy contraption welded to the frame like it had before just to hold the grill. So this uh, worked out pretty good forgot to get some video of it on the car so you could see how it looked but it's uh, more tucked in than it was once I paint it black I'll never go back <laughs> anyway yeah well I decided that no real hot rod should have an aluminum radiator so we went out and bought this bought this one it's a you know copper core and uh, 
stuff like that. So once that's dry, we just washed it, so I'm just waiting for it to dry. Then we can put it back together for one more time. I mean, for the first time with this radiator, but... <coughs> then we can take it all back apart when I get a new leaf spring. We could probably get that out of there with the radiator. You have to take the grill shell off. But I think we could get uh, those bolts out of there. Yeah. Tastes like paint in here. Oh. Hmm. Jim loves wiring. More wiring and then some more and then some more. This is the last bit of wiring, I think. <laughs> That's what we said last time. <laughs> oh, what would you like now, sir? Rag or something. All right. This. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for an overflow yet. I guess I could just run a hose to the ground. Or do something with this stupid thing. Oh boy, Jim's got some good stuff going on over there. I wiped the wire off. And it came disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pr that's pretty much how every wire on this car is. <laughs> you dust it and falls apart. With all this tape and a butt connector. <laughs> You know why? Because huh. he only heat shrunk one side. Oh, that's nice. Well, Apparently he didn't crimp it though either. Well he did, but he didn't get a very good one. I wonder if I could just reopen it or either So we got this custom hose made. Now I just need to find a hose to replace this one with. I can return this one. And I need to find whatever piece it is that goes right here. And uh, I think that's going to be the last update for the weekend. We felt like we were getting a lot of progress done yesterday. <laughs> Today, not so much. We drove around to five stores to find some ties for the radiator, or for the fan, because we put the fan in the wrong spot the first time. I had to cut the ones I had off because the fan was hitting, it was too low and was hitting the spring bolts. But I'm much happier with how the radiator is now versus how it was when we started. Got a little lean back to the grill to cover it up. That's Jim's idea. He likes to lean back. I don't know what angle it's going to be at when the car's on the ground because I'm not exactly sure how the car is sitting right now. So we're getting close. I need to get some brakes here this week so we can put her back on the ground, throw these old headers on, and break in the cam. Except for that big hole in the rear end we have to plug still. Should show get a little footage of that situation. So someone put a uh, one of these right here for the rear brake line, and then they proceeded to drill a hole in the housing because they were going to bolt it on, I guess. But they never did, so there's just a big hole there, and that's pretty nice. Who knows? 
what's in the rear end. Probably water or nothing. Other than that, things are really looking up around here. Found the seed I'm going to get. As soon as I have an extra million dollars, I'll order that up. Whoa, crazy zoomed in. Jeez, I thought that was all for the updates, but I was wrong. I <laughs> can't reach that. One final update here. <laughs> Man, that's, that's nice. And this switch isn't going to be here eventually. I'm going to get a different dash and I'll be putting the switch somewhere underneath where you don't see it. And uh, yeah. So that's pretty sweet. <sighs> so you can see there's not a single wire on the car. Except for this two. Oh man, I stepped on the butt connectors. Got a turn signal wire here and here. Lights aren't here yet. Apparently they came from Zimbabwe. So it's taking a while. I just saw the last thing we have to do, sir, is put this plate back on the firewall. Yeah, then we'll update you with how that turned out. <laughs> 